It's a new month in New Horizons, which means new fish, bugs, and sea creatures to mess with you. Don't be like me who missed one fish and has to wait an entire year to finish the Critterpedia and get the golden fishing rod. Can you tell that uh, I'm a little bitter? <laughs> if you have caught every bug and fish up until this point, Northern Hemisphere people, then congratulations. You can find the last fish and bug you need this month. I'm literally looking at my two empty fish spots, crying to myself right now. That golden fishing rod is gonna be the death of me. Enough about my lack of Animal Crossing skills. Let's get into what's new and returning for the month of December. First, let's talk Northern Hemisphere and Blather's favorite category, bugs. The new bug appearing this month is the dung beetle. These poop suckers will not appear until December 11th because their only mission in life is to make snowballs. Without snow on the ground, it's impossible for these things to roll anything else except their own poop. So to save us from having brown poop balls all over our islands, the developers only allowed them to show up during the dates where snow sticks to the ground. You can catch them on snowballs, which will appear randomly around the island. They can be caught all day and are considered an uncommon spawn. I can't wait for the snowballs. It'll be nice to decorate my island with some top tier snowboys. The other two bugs returning are the Emperor Butterfly and the Raja Brooks Birdwing. Both can be found flying around flowers. Next, fish. The brand new and final fish is the pond smell. Guess where you can find this little guy? That's right, in the river, because <laughs> Why not? It appears all hours of the day, has a small shadow size, and is a common spawn, so it shouldn't take too long for you to find. Next is the stringfish. This can also be found in a river, but the river must be on a cliff top, so you have to walk up at least one tier of land to be able to catch it. If you've made your higher tiers like Mars and gotten rid of most signs of water, do yourself a favor and terraform a river. The sucker will appear from 4pm to 9am and has an extra large shadow, so you'll know when you see it. It's a very rare spawn and sells for a whopping 15,000 bells. It's worth it to take the time to try to catch the thing. Would you walk away from $15,000 sitting in the water IRL? No, I didn't think so. The cute sea butterfly makes its return to the ocean, as does the squid. The long boy or fish slithers. Uh, do they slither? I was just assuming that they're like fish snakes. I really know nothing about them. <clears throat> slithers back into the ocean all day. It's a super large shadow and it's a very rare spawn. Finally onto the sea creatures. December only gives us one additional creature, but it is brand new to the Northern Hemisphere, the lobster. No, you can't eat it. It appears all day, has a large shadow, and is a fast bugger. It also has a rare spawn rate. There are only a handful of water friends leaving us after the month of December. This includes the pike, mussel, spiny lobster, I'm assuming to make room for the ones that aren't so uh, pokey, and the turban shell. Make sure to catch these before the new year. Okay, Southern Hemisphere folks, it's your turn. Boy, oh boy, do you have a ton of stuff showing up on your islands. To stop this video from being an hour long, I'm gonna just list the brand new bugs, fish, and sea creatures. I'll link Animal Crossing World's post in the description, which has all the specifics laid out nicely of all the things returning for the month. Let's start with the bugs. The firefly makes an appearance only for the month of December. It'll be flying, usually near water, between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. It is a common spawn. And they're really pretty. The drone beetle will start appearing on trees all day and can be found really easily as well. New fish time! The giant snakehead makes its appearance in ponds from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. They are large suckers and have a rare spawn rate. The sea creatures, however, are mostly all new. Sea grapes appear all day, and trust me, you won't have to search for long to find these son of a guns, as are the mussels and gazami crabs. The tiger prawn can be found in the ocean between the hours of 4 p.m. and 9 a.m. It's not fish or bugs, but southern hemisphere peeps will be able to find summer shells on their beach now. Make sure to collect them for the seasonal crafting recipes before they disappear. There's a bunch of stuff leaving in December for the Southern Hemisphere. Rather than taking forever, again, to list them all out, I've linked a page that will inform you of everything in the description. Is it crazy that it's almost been a full year since New Horizons came out? My brain knows that it is indeed December, but the rest of me still thinks it's July. All this quarantining really messes with your sense of time. It's bittersweet that we're so close to completing our Critterpedias. I have hope that the developers will keep the game fresh for us as we wrap up 2020. The pull of new creatures to catch will disappear, as will new seasonal recipes and items. I hope they have a ton of updates planned for 2021. How many bugs, fish, or sea creatures do you have left to catch? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm.
Mm-mm. The panda bear.